I feel like I say this every January, but now that that armpit of a year is over, let's kick off this armpit of a year with a fattening helping of my knowledge and wisdom. Cartoon Cat Girl asks, what is your favorite heartwarming tradition? Pulling crackers and putting on the paper party hat. Luminous Starlight asks, have you ever switched your crowd out for that other hat? No, never. The Bard of Shale asks, I know you hate Gen 5, but if you had to pick, which character do you hate the least? Any character who's never appeared on Equestria Daily and given me nausea is all right by me. I'm considering striking that website for my bookmarks by Melissima. Tank Engine asks, what form of animation is your favorite? I like South Park's construction paper cutouts. Pity we only really saw it in one episode. If they were smart, they'd produce multiple episodes at once, filming every scene needed on one background at a time, like they did with Thomas the Tank Engine. And I feel safe saying that at the moment because the Dorking Green Misfit is currently sleep deprived and too hazy to function. Stuart Barclay asks, what would you do if you had a load of dynamite? Kill Pinkie Pie. And then perhaps blow something up afterwards. YouTuber Critic asks, do you know the exact number of rubies you used to have? 3,026. NBC Mechachu asks, did you have any nicknames growing up? For a time, I was known as Pucker Up, owing to the expressions I'd pull eating sour candy my friends offered me. Then, after I developed a taste for such foods, they called me Aw Dammit. Placeholder asks, are you a Scrooge or a Grinch? I'm certainly no miser, so I'm not a Scrooge, but I don't think I could be a Grinch either. I haven't that much cake. And Samantha Powell asks, what are your thoughts on each individual ruler of the different parts of Equestria? You mean each mayor and governor as well as the royals? We only know one mayor, and she's as dynamic as Papa John's. Will Twilight's X-rays still reveal no backbone? Cadence is underrated, but understandably so. Celestia has more cake than the Grinch, and Luna's drooling idiot fanboys continue to get on my tits. If I hear that stubborn argument, she goes against the princess stereotype, one more time. See, that would hold water if she and Celestia legitimately were princesses.